Huh? We're not even streaming. Yeah, we are. No, I'm on the page. Not that now. Unless you're streaming on YouTube. Uh, no, I'm refreshing. I'm sitting no, here refreshing. We, <laughs> we are offline. Yeah. Why? Uh, what the? F you know what? This is this is fucking done. Why the fuck is it showing us as offline? Uh, oh, I OBS. think I see why. Are you streaming to YouTube? No. Bandwidth test mode was enabled for some reason. Uh, Fool! Let's see if that fixes Fool. it. I'm not redoing it. Let's see if that fixes it. I'm no, not redoing it. Let's see if the last fixes ten it. seconds of the song. All right, all right. All right, now go. Hey, everybody, welcome to Lesser Saints of Discord. <laughs> Uh, sorry about last week. We all died. Then we rose again on Sunday. We are your Jesus now. That's that this weekend. This week, huh? That's this weekend. Yeah, but we did it first. So. <laughs> <laughs> so worship <we're> us. Into... <laughs> yeah, man. You all heard yeah, about Jesus the resurrection. <laughs> Y'all heard about the resurrection. This is preemptive resurrection. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus is a hack. So, it's copying we're the us. Fucking, we're the fucking he... special forces of resurrection. Preemptive strike, <laughs> bitch. Jesus is a poser. Yeah. What? Oh, really sorry for style. the delay, guys. Stupid stuff happening with, uh, oh with all this God. shit. I'm so glad my grandmother is never going to watch this. <laughs> yeah. I will say this: there is an extra three minutes of uh, of show, <laughs> including the actual. S what are you doing, Bubba? Including the actual uh, opening opening song of the show. There's an extra three minutes that's going to be on the vod. That's not on on this. And I'm not talking about the the Twitch vod. I'm talking about what's going up on uh, YouTube's. And it's super because for whatever juicy. reason. Whatever reason, OBS decided, oh, I'm gonna fucking be in bandwidth test mode. <laughs> yeah, and be sure to check it out because Sir says the N word. That is. You know, and I'm not gonna confirm or deny anything. <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's what I thought. That's up for hey. your sins. What? No! Hey, blah, blah. I was saying, like, I'm so glad my grandmother does is never going to watch this, because like every time I tell her that I don't believe in God, she always like pray, prays for my soul. <laughs> yeah, my mom might watch this, and I might get an angry text in about ten minutes. Uh... <laughs> Hi, Jable's mom. Like... <laughs> you should absolutely <laughs> angrily text him all the time. That'd be funny. I, I mean, like it says I tell my grandma every time. It's like it's not like a, it's not personal. It's not a personal vendetta or anything. It's like I don't believe in your god, and I also don't believe in Zeus, Quetzalcoatl, Susano, or fucking Anubis. You done believe either? No, I no. No, no, yeah, skull. Skull and I don't uh, believe. Oh, uh, I see. Skull. Yeah, that's 
That's I don't know so where I'm going to find it at this point because it's so old. It was probably at a time where you don't even remember it. But I gotta get you some hooked on phonics, my man. Hooked on phonics, Booker, for me. Skull. Proofreading before you send is probably going to be your best bet moving forward. Just get Grammarly. That shit's free. Grammarly, s support us. Well, let me see. Because they have a... We can you get always you a full have an 10 excuse. viewers. I just never accept any of your excuses. Your excuse does not justify, Skull. Uh, that favorite. means you need to check. You mean that means you need to to check your grammar before you send it even more, Skull. That's not yeah, an excuse that justifies it. Yeah, just don't be so quick to press the enter button. It's really all it takes. Don't press send so quickly. Yeah. Especially so since E and T are not keys right next to each other. How does your finger being messed up explain it at all? Yeah, there's a whole R right in between. Yeah. It's right there. Which? Hi, Bubba. I mean... You want the leaf blower? The... <laughs> yeah. Skull, the way you're saying it, you're you're one message away from typing something really bad when you type in fiddler. <laughs> yeah, and that was a joke. Here you go, Skull. You can get started for just a dollar. They'll send you workbooks and everything. Oh, no. Dang. As a mod, I can't post. Uh, links in the chat. It's weird. Strangeness. I don't like it. Lucky for me, in another browser, I'm logged into the show account. So I'm sitting here on the show, intermittently activating this job blower because my my son absolutely loves the wind in his hair. I am so glad that I have uh, that I've got that uh, Nvidia broadcast software to cut out all that that sound. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm dumb. <laughs> Hold on one second. Yeah, I was dumb. Yeah, I was gonna say the maybe should not be included in that sentence. Yeah, there we go. I, hey, a I broken clock is right twice a day. There you go, Skull. Get started yeah, for a dollar. Jables they'll send you work clocks and is, everything. Except in Jable's case, the clock is broken in a way where the hands are missing. No. No, no. And the correct being... statement is, except in Jable's case, he's a digital clock. Yeah. <laughs> well, even that's right. Yeah. No, it's not, because it doesn't display. Yeah. Unless it's yeah, unless if it's one of those digital clocks that just blinks twelve when you unplug it. It doesn't blink 12 when you unplug it. It blinks 12 when you unplug it and then plug it back in. I, you know what I meant. No, Jables, you had to be specific. When you unplug it, it doesn't blink at all because it has no power. Unless it's got battery backup. Yeah. Skull, yes, that is a big link for big learning. We're all about the big learning here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're about big things here. Yeah. And Jables wants answers. Big, big learning, big dicks, big questions, big answers, big links. I think we're wandering off now. 
Japel's is wandering off. Big tits. Big booties. Back on topic. <laughs> Big ideas. Shut up! Big debates. Okay. Big iron. <laughs> I fucking knew it. <laughs> Big cookouts. Big super soakers. I ironically wish I had a big super soaker. Uh, I, I actually have an article about one. And it's Everything's bigger in Texas. My except cousin that it's has a not. couple of these. A couple of what? Great. What do we got? Cannot see. Where am I looking? Hold on. I had to get to oh, the tab. Man. Summer's coming up, so you should buy them now. This is actually a public service announcement. These things are fucking great. Oh, wow. A $180 price tag for this thing? Yes, but they're extremely durable. And... I don't know. They're a lot of fun. Save up. Get them. Because you, it has a motor in it. You just dip it in water and it just sucks it all in real fast. Okay, so... Run around sniping All right, people. Well, Water. give me a moment. I gotta put this up on the screen. Oh, making me do work, Jables. It's kind of like the basis of our shows to go over articles. Every once in a while, It used to be. <laughs> Alright, I have to compare this to... Um... I'm going to eye soaker. I'll be right uh, back. I gotta go help the the, the little lady. Laramie class. Air pressure. What you got? Huh? What are you talking about? Well, like, it, it says, like, world's strongest whatever we are. You know, like, I need to compare that claim. I, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't say it's the world's strongest. That might be a hyperbolic title. Okay, not air pressure. need a... Uh, elastic pressure. That's probably what I'm looking for. So this is pretty much the AR-15 of water guns. Okay, so... Hey, I'm back. So this is the thing. And we're just gonna scroll down to this... Yeah, so, um, this thing is, um, I'm sure it's, like, got decent build quality. I mean, like, it's got, like, all the, like, the fancy stuff, like the textured handle and the constant pressure, which is nice. And, like, all the battery stuff. Okay, it says, uh, it also features a screen to tell you how full your tank and battery are, which, that's neat. Yeah, that's In a press neat. release, the company says one full charge will let you reload the tank around 100 times, and that each tank holds approximately 22 water blasts, each of which will hit your opponent with a 30 milliliter bolt. That's weak. Well, fun. What do you no, well, here's the video. Doesn't look so weak. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. It's a bolt of water. It's not...
I mean, like, yeah, that's... The hell is milliliter in freedom units? Like, ounces? It's not even an ounce. I don't think. No, I'm Hold pretty on. sure... Milliliters to... Yeah, you know, Fluid ounces. ounces. Uh, Specifically fluid ounces. So, um, it's just over one fluid ounce. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, it's not supposed to hurt you, sir. It's just supposed to get you wet. It's for water fights. It's for sneaking around hey. a corner and just... Bat, bat, bat. No, like... There was an age where water guns were serious fucking business. Yeah, the 90s were pretty cool. Yeah, you know, like you had um, the king of all water guns. It's still the king of all water guns, which was the Super Soaker CPS 2000. Released in 1996. Yeah, that thing on a single trigger. Oh, pull. yeah, yeah, yeah. A buddy of mine had one of those. That fucking thing on a single trigger pull put out a liter of water. Yeah. yeah, on a single Yeah, this yeah, is you could only fire it a couple of times. But whoever was getting hit by that was fucking drenched instantly. Yeah. That's a grenade launcher. This is a tactical weapon. Well fuck, man, like even like Back in, like, the 2000s, like, Super Soaker still had, like, um, uh, what the fuck was it called? Uh, the Flash Flood. Which, like, it had, like, a standard nozzle that shot out, like, a decent little stream of water, but then it had, like, a handle on the top where you pulled it back and it emptied the entire upper reservoir on somebody on close yeah. range. Yeah, and there was that, uh... There was one that I had. It came with a little stand, and you stuck the no you attached it to the hose, and you just stuck the nozzle on the stand, and it filled it up. But you still yeah, have I remember those the 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 quick refill stands. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, you'd yeah, be like, like "Time out! Time out! Don't hit me!" Oh, reloading's fair game, motherfucker. <laughs> oh no, we always uh, we always made five feet around the foss. Five feet around the hose is a uh, safe space. Yeah, but, I just always remember there being that one dick who who was like, "Oops, sorry." Yeah, always. Yeah, like um, hell. I wonder how my old vaporizer compares. Cause I still have my vaporizer. Yeah. Yeah, but you're talking, you're talking about being messy. This thing's precise. It's, yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna make that joke on Twitch. <laughs> it's, don't do anything that's gonna get us canceled. Oh. Back Look in the day of already. serious water fights, we were dealing with WMDs equivalent. This is a precision yeah. insurgency weapon. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like about it. I don't. I. I, I haven't decided how how I feel about it, because it's only got twenty two shots. It, it so, refills in like half a second, though. Yeah. It does a. It does a little bit more than my old uh, vaporizer, which is a. Um, it's a pump action super soaker. Part of the old uh, soaker tag line, I think it was called. I don't know. Man, I haven't used this thing in forever. Maybe, it's got maybe dust maybe on Red it. Red and I will make a trip down there this summer. We'll bring those. <laughs> you can test them out. Who and you? Uh, Red, my cousin. Oh, yeah. That guy. 
Yeah. Did we have him on that the show? Good once? people. We have. Yeah, he was all right. Yeah. He's good people. Did not mind him at all. I mean, for an HVAC guy, he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> he's not an HVAC guy. He's a plumber. Oh, that's right. I, I think he was doing plumbing for for uh, an HVAC company at the time or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. And Skull, of course you can fill it up with something other than water. That's the true joy of a, of super soakers. Yeah. Filling it up oh, with the uh, vodka and then making everyone smell like they're fucking drunk. Yeah. But you get the cheap ass I, vodka. I just reminded I just was reminded um there was this one um super soaker they had as the part of the soaker tagline called the Arctic Shock. And that thing was evil. Oh Cause yeah. Basically cause it, yeah, because it chilled the water. Well, basically, what it had is like it had a thing that allowed you to make like an ice core, and you screwed the ice core into the bottom reservoir. <laughs> and oh, that thing was a bastard. Yeah, the coldness of the water from the hose is bad enough. Fuck off with your shit. That's. And of course, if the ice core melted, you could always just run inside and find an ice cube tray and be like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a super soaker for dicks. Man, I wish I had one. And I loved making my cousin scream with it. <laughs> <laughs> Not cool, me. Oh, man. I love making my cousin scream. Really? I bet you did. Where are but you from, I Louisiana? For... <laughs> I ain't apologizing for shit. Alabama? Hey, I might not be in the South, but we did some fucking redneck shit when I was a kid, man. Damn, I don't want to know what you did with your cousins. <laughs> like driving around on my <laughs> uncle and aunt's golf cart while shooting an air rifle at cans. Or because bored. What? Or kiss a little. Oh, that's a new <laughs> soundboard thing. Yeah. <laughs> For a second, I thought somebody else was in here. It's like, who's that? No. Who dare? No. No. It's just um, Skull and... Yeah, it's just Skull today so far. Yeah. Wow. Guess it's everybody's like... Started late. Uh, they they weren't here last week, so fuck them. Neither were we. <laughs> That's what I just said. I thought you said they weren't here last week. Like, yeah, no, I as mean, like, in that's, from that's, their that's, perspective. Yeah, their mentality is that we weren't here last week, so fuck us. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, we just totally gave up on the show entirely because we. Well, you a week. I I knew I wasn't gonna be here. I forgot to tell everyone until Monday. Um, yeah. because I was going skiing. Well, let me rephrase that. I was going up to the snow. I wasn't sure if I was going to ski or not. I did end up skiing oh, okay. one day. Oh my God. Was that so much fun? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah. Did you have a lot of fun with all that snow? Just going skiing. Oh, I, I, I left know, my I old man about. in the dust. I didn't know you were into that. I didn't know you were into that party life, room chief. I I left my old man in the dust, man. Mm. Of course he's old. Of course he can't keep up with you. Just snorting all that. Actually, what happened was his uh, he he's been using the same ski boots for like twenty years, and they finally decided decided it's time to disintegrate. <laughs> so oh, wow. he had he's to been get using rentals. The same straws for like twenty years. That's <laughs> No, no, snowshoes. Snowshoes. Oh, snowshoes. Oh, so he has one of those old McDonald's spins. I see what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, cats. How you doing? Oh, there was a cat. There is a cats in lady. Thank you for the bitty. 
itty bitty bitty. Yep. The one cocaine is amazing. (laughs) (laughs) Do you want to do some blow man? All right. In all seriousness, though, the one day I got to go. The one day I got to go skiing, it was. I I had a blast. Nice. Fucking. Um. Next year, the the youngster's probably gonna be being taught how to ski. So, um, I was at, um, I was at, um, my, uh, brother-in-law's adoptive grandfather's house. He, uh, passed away, unfortunately, earlier this year. He's a really good dude. In fact, I, I want to talk to Rimshi about him at some point, because I finally know why he got his, uh, bronze star in Vietnam and his other medals. This motherfucker was a badass. I'm curious now. But we were over there and my Love nephew, you cats. my nephew was being really fussy. So um, oh, thanks for the hundred biddies cats. Nice. My nephew was being very fussy, but in his favorite movie is frozen. So they put it on. And then when um, Anna started like the you know, like you know, do you want to build a snowman? I'm like, God damn it! Now I know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know before because I'd never watched Frozen. I didn't give a shit. Yeah, it was yeah, it's a parody. My of that. my sister <laughs> like, loves so that's Disney. What that's my from. wife loves Dis. Well, used to love Disney. I don't. She loves classic Disney. We'll go with that one. Um. Yeah. I have an, uh, a toddler, so I, I definitely have no choice in the matter. Disney's on quite often. Which is fine. Ugh. It's fine until you've watched Luca for the 33rd time. Oh, Actually, Luca's Luca. not bad. Go to the fucking classics. Luca's not bad. Uh, the one that really sucks, and well, I might get some heat for this, is, is like... Encanto. Oh, I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> God damn it. My friend I, I could complain about that story characters. for the rest of this show. We're, we're not gonna fucking deal with it. <laughs> I mean, it's just a magic Tarzan house, dude. Yet? Hmm? Have you shown your kid Tarzan yet? I think we've tried. He likes the old Robin Hood, though. Ah, oh, that was a classic. Larry! Hey, Larry, yeah. tier one sub. Whoop, fucking whoop. Also, like, Whistle Stop is... Whistle Stop is unironically one of the best songs in a Disney movie. I will fight people on that one. What uh, song? Yeah. Whistle Stop. Mmm! Dee-da-dee-dee-doo. Uh. Yeah. Whistle Stop's great. Love Whistle Stop. Yeah. Love that movie. Yeah. Pretty sure that movie's responsible for furries, but that's neither here nor there. It's, um, it's one of them, anyway. I, th- I think it's a factor. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember seeing, like, a little, um, like, uh, somebody drew a comic strip. It shows, uh, like, this little kid sitting in front of a TV. And it's like the scene in uh, the Robin Hood movie where Robin Hood's all tied up by the guards. And then the kid's like, I feel something. It just shows two fuckers in the background, like, clapping hands together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, my week was a little different, so I, like, uh... All my new lease signing stuff is finalized and all that jazz. And then, well. like, rent's paid up, all that. And then on Wednesday, I hear somebody putting keys into my door. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Oh. I walk up. I'm like, can I fucking help you? And he was like, oh, uh, I thought this apartment was supposed to be empty. 
No. You just signed a new lease. My rent is paid. What are you doing? Uh, blah, 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 bubbled around. Like, this key ring says Department 101. Like, none of the keys were working, so they were for a different apartment in the complex. Hmm. But... Imagine... Because that happened at, like, 3 p.m. Imagine if I didn't get off work at 2.30. Somebody just coming into my apartment willy-nilly. Fuck that shit. It's just like... What's all this stuff doing here? Yeah. Is someone squatting? Yeah. Yeah, it's for the apartment down the hall, though. And taking your beer out of the fridge. <laughs> Fuck. It's worthy of murder. <laughs> yeah, you don't take another man's beer. At least not when he's not home. Uh, even when I had roommates, my rule was always save the li- like. You can have some of my beer. That's okay. Yeah, just don't take all of it. Yeah, leave two for me. It wasn't even just leave one. Oops. Always leave two for me. Who who doesn't want a big titty trad wife, Larry? That that's just who. Do- that's a dumb statement. Who doesn't want that? I mean, yeah. I don't. You're asexual. What? Or what? I gay? Mean, whatever. I don't give a shit. T- techni- <laughs> technically true. No, well, his yeah. first name is technically true because I'm not interested in intercourse at all. Yeah. I I guess. Are you still into sexual play? I am. My sexuality is weird. I, I don't try and put okay. myself in a box anymore. I yeah, do. Because I, I used to say I was gay, but it's like, <laughs> eh, the more I think about it, not really. Yeah, Rimshi, you probably overfilled that box. That's why you got a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of an equal opportunist when it comes to desire to restrain people. <laughs> <laughs> you're busted, buddy. I'm a cat. No, you're not. <laughs> you just know how to talk. Yeah. Which would be a fun, which would be a fun thing to do. You know, every time you play that sound bite, I always hear cat, not cop. Uh because he says it like this. I'm a cat. I know. Yeah, he's got a... Nah. To it. You busty, buddy. I'm a cat. Why did you sound like you'd smoked even more? What? What? <laughs> uh, Skull, it's from an episode of South Park. Yeah. Dina! Dina, subscribe to Tier 1. Subscribe for 35 months. Thanks, Dina. Get cultured, my dude. Yeah. By the way, new season of South Park, I'm really digging it. Mm. Yeah, they're, Dina, they're yes or no? Everyone wants a big titty trad wife. Especially considering trad wives technically come in a bunch of different flavors. You can have your goth tra- uh, trad. You can have your uh, punk trad. Which is yeah. a weird one. Yeah, but there's this uh, there's this female death metal singer that uh, made a whole series on like uh, different recipes to make. And uh, it's pretty hot. <laughs> it's- like I said. <laughs> I type in trad wife in Google and the very first thing I get is an article from Fox 11 Los Angeles. Is the trad wife life for you? Oh, jeez. The only people who don't want trad wives to exist. And that was from March 30th of this year. 
The right. only people who don't want trad wives to exist are, are the kind that think that uh, a woman has to wear pants to be empowered. Shun the female stuff. Also known as stupid people. I, I'm not going to argue. I just wasn't going to put it that way. No, I'll put it that way. Yeah, like but it includes like, smart people with dumb ideas. So, you know, stupid people is like, not encompassing like, enough. Oh, it's like, we'll write all of our female characters like we would male characters. That'll make them strong. It's like, no, that just makes them badly written characters. Yeah. Stop. For it does else, not help you. Pie recipe. There you go. Um, I also posted it in the live show chat for you, Rimji. You might dig it. What recipe? It's a shepherd's pie recipe. Ooh, shepherd's pie. That this chick made into a song. It's uh, kind of like a deathcore song. But... I see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to absolutely have to watch that later, because this does not look like a metal singer. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'd totally play it here, but I don't want to because I don't want to get hit with anything. Yeah, it, it's totally fair. That's why I posted it for everybody to enjoy. Yeah, yeah my wife's in the Look other room and she could walk in on me uh, creeping on. <laughs> 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 Why'd What's the song saucy all about her winches. wanting to make a nice dish for her friends? You know, you know. Shepherd's pie is pretty hearty. Yep. Shepherd's, you know what? I haven't had a shepherd's pie in a while, but uh, every time I've gotten it, it's been uh, at a restaurant, and it's just not been very good because it's. I've done the dumb thing and ordered it at bars mostly. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the thing. Is it's really one of those things that you have to make it at home. You either yeah. have to make it at home or you got to go to like an actual classy restaurant that will take the time to make it right. Well, that's the thing is that like shepherd's pie is not traditionally considered to be a classy dish. No, it's kind of like a casserole. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's not it's considered to be food. classy. It's not considered to be classy, but uh, lobster used to be the not so classy thing either. And then people were uh, and then the poor started making it taste hella good. And so the rich were like, oh, ho, ho, look what we have. It is tasty from the, the poor peasants. But uh, we're going to start eating it because fuck yeah, it's them. Like how they're trying to, it's like how they're trying to make barbecue in New York. And it's like, stop. Just don't. Yeah. Well, you gotta change. Whole that, food right? is gotta, good because some... people. The, the good food starts in the poorer classes because they need to figure out ways to make shitty food taste good, and then the richer classes get it, and they're like, "Ooh." Well, yeah, man. It's yeah. Like, why do you think? Fuck why you. Do you think we get Mexi this now. Why do you think that Mexican food is so goddamn good? Oh, fuck yeah. It's cheap as hell. <laughs> yeah. Well, good Mexican food is. It's like, what do we yeah, got, man? It's like, we got a... corn, beans, peppers, and maybe a bit of meat and cheese. What are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to get creative. That's what we're going to do with it. <laughs> I, I will say, too, uh, at least around where I am, too much of the Mexican food involves punch you in your face spicy. And I, I'm not about the punch you in your face spicy. I prefer the slow Plus. creep. Wow, where the fuck did that come from, spicy? Yeah. Um, yeah, I like to have some. There's a there's a place in the neighborhood I live in. It used to be a taco truck, and then a subway shut down, so they took over that subway. Mm. Changed nothing about the inside of the subway except for like converted where the sandwiches were made into a, like an actual like kitchen thing. Mm. <laughs> and then they don't they don't input the spices directly into a lot of their food but they have just this little thing with little, like, those really mini plastic Dixie cups. 
and they just have those with lids and you just scoop some into a dixie cup if you want it and then those are the uh those are the sauces that you have to work with there's three of them and they all have a different type of spice to them one of them hits you fast one of them hits you slow but hard later and one of them is just sort of like mellow you feel it but it doesn't doesn't hit you that hard yeah, we it's got there place. you know it's there but it just kind of is plus yeah, we got those, all the sauces uh... are just delicious on their own regardless mm. and like I would drink them they're that good yeah, we yeah, got this I, place I around don't... here called Paco's Tacos. And um, at least the time that I was there, like the, the tacos were all right. It's like, th they're okay. But the, like they have like these sauces. It's like, you know, basically like, oh yeah, here's just like a condiment bottle of this sauce that we have. It's like, here, just pick one that you want and like squeeze that all over your taco. So I, of course, go for the one labeled Lava. Because this is thick as fuck, blood red looking sauce. And it's like, as soon as you get into that thing, it's just like, whew, son of a bitch. I didn't know that my nose could function that well. My eyes are sweating. <laughs> it was good stuff. What, what's weird about their sauces is, like, there's two green ones, two different shades of green, and then there's a red one. Ooh, Verde sauces. Yeah. And I don't... I still don't know which one's the spice... I still don't know which one's the really spicy one that hits you fast. So I always forget, because I just get all three every time. <laughs> they're, all, they're all so good. I, I get a burrito, I get all three, I pour a little for, like, this section of burrito. You divided them. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm guessing it's like them big ass burritos too, where you can section it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. Not like newborn baby big, but almost. <clears throat> There's just places that like advertise it's like burritos as big as your head. There, there is another place. There's another truck in my neighborhood that does do like newborn baby sized burritos. So, and they're so good. Also, I, he hasn't said it yet, but I'm going to beat Larry to the punch on this one. Yeah, we should probably update the count. <laughs> yeah, we probably should. That was tangential. Okay. Yeah, that was a tangent. Yeah, that's fine. You win this time, Larry. You, we, we didn't even fight. No, I, I called him out while, before though. he did. So he wins nothing. Fuck him. <laughs> you win nothing. You had the, I, you stole fizzy lifting drink. So you win nothing. Nada. You lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> Oh, I should grab that sound bite. It's fantastic. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. He is fucking great in that movie. <laughs> yeah, I love Gene Wilder. I much prefer his take to uh, Johnny Depp's. I, I don't hate Johnny Everybody Depp. Does. I don't hate Johnny Depp. I don't think his take was horrible per se. I don't think it was his yeah. take. I think that was Tim Burton. I think that was all Tim Burton. You're, yeah, I, 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 I don't disagree. Burton. At least a good portion of it is Tim Burton. There's always going to be a little bit of Johnny Depp in there. Yeah. Because Johnny Depp can't do anything without putting a little bit of himself in it. Yeah. That's fair. But Which is why he like, never beat Amber Heard. He he never put enough of himself into beating Amber Heard. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, man. But especially like um, 
Gene Wilder's response to like the naughty children where they run off to do so. He's like, "No, stop, please." <laughs> no, stop, please, don't murder. <laughs> Ooh, apparently Rimshi's in ASMR mode. Huh. How am I in ASMR mode? I hear him just fine. Hold on, let me turn this. Oh, that means you sound close on. to your mic, pretty much. You oh, love me, Larry. You love me. Ooh. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> it's gonna get this show is supposed to sound it. like ass. I demand <laughs> my money back. It sounds too good. <laughs> I don't think you've changed your mic recently, though, have you? No. no. You're still on the Yeti? Yeah, I'm still on the Yeti. I did do a fresh install of Windows, though, so maybe some settings actually okay. mm. got better. Fixed them. <laughs> Fix themselves. Maybe. I'm still using this fucking um, Logitech. Well, it's yeah, a Yeti I've had for years, and then I gave it to my wife to use, and it kind of lived in a backpack for a while. Mm. Why? The forgotten Yeti. What? What do you mean? The why? lost, the, the lost Yeti of Northern California. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Why? <laughs> it's been found. I don't know. What do you mean, why? Oh. Yeah, why you why in, man? Why? Why you why in the why, why, why and why? Why, 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 why? Why would you why, 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 why? Where? Who? Who? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Who's that? When? I don't know. Over there? Yeah, I'm lost. Who Aren't isn't lost? That's the that's the real question. <laughs> this is why we sound like ass, Larry. This is why we sound like ass. Why? Because you just because randomly decided to so? smoke a pack of Marlboros in between takes? <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. I live my life just like anyone else will. A my wife will kill me if I time. keep doing this, though. Apparently, I had some Jack Daniels in there, too. <laughs> Fucking hate Jack Daniels. I... Oh, that's going to get you canceled by someone. I don't mind single barrel. I've actually got some... Uh, Jack Daniels Tennessee wa uh, rye unaged. It's decent. There are some versions of Jack Daniels that I'm okay with, but your standard run-of-the-mill Jack Daniels tastes like... Oh, old number seven is only good as a mixer. Yeah, it tastes like plastic. I don't even like it as a mixer. I... Speaking I'm of... not going to argue with you. I'm saying that's the only place it's actually any good. Speaking of Jack Daniels, uh, have you guys heard about Whiskey Fungus? I have heard about that whiskey fungus. I don't like to talk about it because I don't like to think about it. No, whiskey nobody likes fungus. to think about it because it's kind of horrifying. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to think um, about it. Apparently in Kentucky, like near where they have like um, the big like um, warehouses where they have the barrels that they age the whiskey in, the escaping ethanol from the barrels like supercharges the growth of this fucking like mold like fungus and it just grows over everything in the surrounding area trees road signs houses it's drunk so it's going out of its way to be belligerent got it kind of just like yeah I saw, I saw Philly D talking about it Fungus is mold, Larry. Mold is a fungus. Yeah.
Larry, you're supposed to be the smart one. Yeah, moss is a plant. <laughs> and you're cleaning moss? Oh. Out of your bathroom? Wait, spent a day cleaning black moss from the bathroom. Yeah, mold, not fungus. Yeah, I said moss. Can't get my fuck up right. <laughs> okay. I see. see. <laughs> I, it's, I'm, I'm getting... I had to read right. the full chain of events there. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. We only read the latest. <laughs> our bad, Larry. You're fine. You know, <laughs> you know a good way to handle fucking um, black mold in places is uh, you can start by spraying Lysol on it. You can start by just burning your house down. <laughs> no, that's not the answer. Yeah, it, it won't appreciate Lysol at all. Yeah. Yeah, but once it starts to spread, you, you're fucked. Damn, this motherfucker went for the shower cap. How bad was your... I don't even know where to get a shower cap. I kind of need one. Um, also... Uh, go on to Amazon. Or, yeah, or your local shit... Shitty store. I don't know. It's going to say, no, like, the, uh, drug stores that probably have them. Like there's a lot of black store. people in my neighborhood. <laughs> they probably do have them. I haven't seen them there, though. I need a scalp brush. scalp brush mm -hmm. what's that it's um it's a scalp that, it's a not scalp it's a brush that you use in the shower specifically like when you're shampooing or whatnot oh okay yeah and it helps you know get um build up off the scalp i have a bit of an issue with that probably need yeah. to start using a scalp brush regularly yeah i should probably get one of those too I also need a conditioner comb. Because now my hair is getting long again. Mine's been long for a bit. I haven't cut my hair since... Fuck. Um, like July of last year? Uh, it's, uh... My hair's getting past my shoulders now. Yeah, mine's probably almost. Uh, sh the problem is, is that like my hair naturally kind of curls upwards in the back mm -hmm. the longer it gets. Yeah, I get cool little ringlets. <clears throat> the also, biggest Dina, annoyance nice is to pun. keeping it out of my. I don't want to. I don't want to glaze over Dina's pun right. That is, that's, I'm usually not for puns because puns are the lowest form of comedy, but that's good. Puns, puns are, are the sin 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 Puns are the sincerest form of flattery, and my fuck ups never end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Larry, he's been... He sounds the same to me. I don't know. <laughs> Did you get new headphones or something? I think you're reading way too much into it, Larry. I think Larry just wants to... He, he's just getting turned on and wants justification. No, it sounds weird to me. You like, can see the puddle that has accumulated on my chair right now? That's Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, thinking that Rimshi in any way sounds, like, philosophical or insightful is, like, that might just be signs that you're having an existential crisis. Yeah, that's... Uh, cut feelings? That's like saying Squigs took a moment to uh, think something through before doing it. Yeah, that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Larry, you caught feelings? Oh no. Larry. Guess you're gay. And that's pretty gay. 
You know what the difference is? I'm leaning Larry forward as opposed box. to leaning back. So maybe yeah, that's part of it. Closer to the mic. That's potentially sim oh, that's potentially it, but usually the mic is uh only like two or three inches further away than than it is now because I moved the mic. I can rotate it. I can rotate it. We don't need to know just how Larry. far down your throat it is, Ben. Larry, it doesn't uh, go down my throat. It's I I don't have a big enough mouth to fit it in my mouth, let alone down my throat. Probably surgeries for that. <laughs> Larry, I see you're a man of culture. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's simply that uh, <clears throat> my audio settings have changed because I did a fresh install. Yeah, it's probably all it is. God damn it, Larry. Unless you actually have one, don't say that. I hate also, that fucking image. Like anytime somebody like posts the image, it's like, oh, Tiff's fedora. It's like, that's not a fucking fedora, asshole. It's a trilby. <laughs> Completely different hat. I know you want me, big boy. All right. All right. <laughs> this is getting very sexual. I don't think I approve. Don't judge us. I'm fucking fine. Hey, I've paid cam whores before. What of it? Wait, that wasn't the question, was it? No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Haven't we all? <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, all I see is uh, all I see is John Travolta just in that room, just looking around. <laughs> like the fuck <laughs> yeah that's from uh, isn't that from Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction. Yeah. yeah fuck I can't remember what scene that is I uh, may have to watch shows, that again it's when he first shows up at Marcellus's house got to, uh, it pick up Mia it's just like, because okay. she's just like, I'll be down in two shakes of a lamb's tail, and then he's just like, wait, no, it's a. Uh, she's talking on the intercom, and he's like, where the fuck is that voice coming from? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. And no, I don't just know that off the back of my head. I recently watched the movie. Yeah. That's um that's a film where free visitor. It's a fun movie. It's fun to it's fun on a rewatch too because you can spot like all the little things that are going on in the background. Hmm. Pulp fiction is crazy. Yeah. I understand why there are some people that don't like the movie. Yeah, I can see it I too. Think, I think their reasoning is flawed, though. Hmm. Uh, That's up for debate. Yeah, there are people that would hotly debate that. I wouldn't be surprised if some of them were in the audience right now. Or on the show. Or not here. Rimshi, do you not like Pulp Fiction? Oh, I, I I like it. I definitely would not say it's the best Tarantino, though. Um... What do you think... What do you think is the best Tarantino? Well, let's uh, bring up the man's film nobber. Film yeah. nobber. That's a great idea. Here, one moment. I will pull it up so we can all look at it. Yep, I've got the uh, Wikipedia. Yeah, like, um, 
I'm looking at, and first thing that jumps out to me is Reservoir Dogs. It's like, ooh, that's a good fucking movie. Yeah, that was... I do really like Reservoir Dogs, but I don't think it's as rewatchable as Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction is definitely rewatchable, but just because something's rewatchable doesn't mean it's a good film. Doesn't mean it's his best film either. Yeah. For example, so, you've got uh, Django Unchained. That's a great movie. Yeah, fantastic movie. Sin City. Although that was him being a guest director, so that one is iffy whether or not you count it. Yeah, he only did one part of Sin City. Yeah. That was that was mainly a Robert Rodriguez project. Uh, the Rock. The Killers. I fucking love The Rock. It's a great film. True Romance. From Dust Till Dawn. Yeah. Crimson Tide. Another great movie. Uncredited writer. Yeah. Well, Which so means really, I don't think I don't a, think we could count that one. Yeah, that was a Tony Scott film, but no, oh, no, I just remember. Like Tony any Scott. of these that have uh, yeah. only red or only red and yellow, can't count those. I don't think. So yeah, of films he's directed. We've got uh, Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, which is also a good movie. I don't think I've ever seen Jackie Brown. Kill Bill, Bill 1 and 2, one which two. I think we could count as one film. Yeah, count that as, he, he intended it to be one, so we'll count it as one. Yeah. Um, then um, probably like the only movie from him that I actively don't like. Death Proof sucks. Oh, I had a lot of fun with that movie. I haven't seen I it, so I can't I don't say like much. That. Uh, I, I, don't I also like saw movie. it when I was like 14. So. Yeah, like, of, of the two Grindhouse movies, Death Proof was definitely not the one to watch. Yeah, and he only produced Planet Terror. Well, yeah, Inglorious Double Feature. Inglorious Bastards, that movie's marketing was a lie. The marketing of that movie lies to you. Yeah, I think that's why I didn't like it when I watched it. I don't, I don't remember any of the marketing. I I did enjoy Inglorious Bastards. Well, because the the marketing of the movie is just like, oh, it's like, oh, this is gonna be like badass, or you like, uh, you know, we go around killing Nazis. Shit, it's like that's actually a very small portion of the movie. You know, a lot of it is like focusing on, you know, like Christoph Waltz's character, who is like this SS officer and his relationship with this chick. And he is fucking fantastic. Oh, God, he is beautifully acted. Holy yeah. shit. Also, the fact that like Christoph Waltz can like speak like fluently, like five or six different languages. Like this mm. dude is a phenomenal fucking actor. <laughs> I, I remember uh, he's prime remember... for that character. I remember in Glorious Bastards had had a lot of scenes that I enjoyed, but I don't think I enjoyed the entire movie as a whole. I, you know what? We should watch it again at some point. I enjoy the movie. I do like oh, it. Yeah. Um, I would, I would actually go so far as to argue that uh, Christoph Waltz as Hans Landa in Inglorious Bastards is one of the best performances, if not like right up there for best performance in a Tarantino film. Larry, uh, we're you know what? On I, it. I don't know well, wait, if I could on. argue with you on that, but I will say he makes you simultaneously hate and love that character. He's you, well, you the, he's sympathetic and yet you fucking hate him. Yeah, like, yeah, because he's a dick. Yeah. You can like you he allows you to feel empathy, like to have like some sort of like understanding towards a man who is in a monstrous <laughs> fucking position. Mm -hmm. yeah. They, okay, they play so... up the, we have sympathy, eh, he's gonna change sides here. No. 
Oh, he's going to change also, sides. You thank knew. you, Larry. Thank you, Larry. Yeah. Um, so let's be clear. They're all great movies. Except Death Proof. Thank also, you. Also, Larry, <laughs> your comment still waiting for one better than Pulp. Let us talk about the movies first. We got time. <laughs> yeah, Chill. we got 20 minutes to kill. I would, <laughs> you know. I really liked Django when I saw it. Um... I still think that um, Leonardo DiCaprio deserved the best supporting actor for that. Oh God, yes. yes. No, I think the, uh, I think Django Unchained probably is better than Pulp Fiction, but I I have reasoning behind it. I could definitely see why someone would say Pulp Fiction is better, but Django Unchained is a very you. You you don't have to like Jamie Foxx. And again, you that, know, like Django Unchained also has Christoph Waltz, and he's fucking amazing in that movie too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, he went from being the villain to the not hero, but <laughs> that scene where he shoots Leonardo DiCaprio's character, he just looks at Jamie Foxx like, just couldn't help it. <laughs> Yeah. I, I couldn't stand it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and he dies. To be to be totally that. fair, he tried to get out of that situation every possible way that he could. <laughs> just he got pushed way too far. Yeah, and then, Andy was just, just like, wanting to lord it over him. Yeah. Yeah, like he extends his hand. He extends his pistol. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Yeah. I will, but yeah, I'll say to Jang, uh, Django Unchained is better, but I'll say that's mostly because Pulp Fiction is very much a art school type film. Um, maybe, maybe not. Maybe art school is the wrong term. It's how exactly to put it. It's this one year, of those films you have to watch at least twice in order to get an actual grasp of what's going on. Because you gotta watch it the first time through to try and figure out what's going on. And then once you can kind of place everything in a sort of timeline, you'll watch it the second time through to kind of piece together what is actually happening. What yeah, the actual like storyline is. Like at the end when you see... Uh... Uh, Tim Ross character in that chick in the background when uh, uh, Samuel L. Jackson and oh, what's his... I said his name wrong. God damn it. John Travolta. Yeah, suddenly I couldn't diner. remember his name either. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I said it earlier. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> uh, I. I know that's kind of why I think it might be better is because of the is because it's a different experience when you watch it the second time and even the third time. I'm not. Uh, I I think the issue with it is there's enough people out there that will only watch it once and be like, "What the fuck did I just watch?" and then just completely disregard it. So it's more of a um. What you would think of as an indie film, but it's definitely better, better done. Uh, it, it. I mean, Fight Club does not like that too. It, yep. Yes, but Fight Club tells a coherent story from point A to point B, whereas Django, or no, sorry, whereas Pulp Fiction goes point A, D, B, L, K, Z, Y, E, C. Zed's dead, baby. <laughs> I can't read that for you right now, Bubba. Hmm. I will. I will yeah. after the show, though. I promise. Okay. I have you. Did uh? Did any of you watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I have not seen it. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen Hateful Eight either. I uh, I'll read it for you after my show. Give me fifteen minutes. We have a timer, Dina... guys. <laughs> Which Hateful Eight? That had a bunch of motherfuckers on it. 
Yeah, that seemed. Yeah, hateful eight seemed to be like a like a celebrity grab. That's why I didn't watch it. Because I, I go, might the grain man. I'm edgy. I I think I'll watch it. It's. It should be fine, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Once, once I, 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 I I found uh what what was it? The ridiculous six with uh which is the uh the, the Adam Sandler movie. Mm-hmm. Mm. That I mean it's not, not the a great movie, but it it's definitely not his worst. <laughs> uh, Dina Dina and I tried to watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Maybe we weren't in like the right headspace for it or anything, but we didn't finish yeah. it. it it's, rem- it's slow. I remember my cousin, who also is a bit of a Tarantino fan, he wasn't impressed with that movie either. He was yeah. telling me about it. He's like, "Yeah, fuck that movie." Yeah, well, when I think- look at look at what he used to do, and then look at what Hollywood has leaned towards these days. I wouldn't be surprised if he had to really bury anything that was actually worth a damn. Yeah, when... Yeah, because when I think Tarantino, I think Reservoir Dogs, True Romance, Pulp Fiction. Django Unchained. uh, From Dusk Till Dawn, Kill Bill. Those are the ones I think of. Yeah. He really hasn't directed ton of movies. Oh, no, Larry, he can still say the N-word. He has Samuel L. Jackson on his back. So, like, <laughs> when Samuel L. Jackson is behind you, you're set to say the N-word. That's like the yeah. ultimate N-word pass. So, he, if you <laughs> don't include the uh, segment or guest director stuff, He's directed in half of the films that he's participated in. In yeah. some way. Yeah. That gets even higher when you exclude the uh, the stuff that he has not per- he has only partially participated in. Yeah, like he was this. He wrote the story for Natural Born Killers, but he didn't actually write the screenplay. <gasps> Oof. Random hiccup. But I do like Natural Born Killers. I, I think that's an underrated movie. Mm. You know what? I will say that Natural Born Killers, he wrote the story. He may not have written the screenplay, but he did write the story. So I that's that's an iffy one whether or not I'd count him being part of that or not. Well, let's let's take a vote. I I personally want to count it because he wrote the story. I think that's yeah. Good well, I mean, kind of in the same way that Harry Potter's J.K. Rowling's story. Uh, I was about to use that exact example. <laughs> of course, you are. I, I getting know. predictable. Well, also, things. there was new news with Harry Potter. They're going to be doing a series on HBO. Oh yeah, I did hear something about that. Yep. I am not gonna make any comment on that. I am, uh... They... They haven't revealed exactly what they're going to do. But... I mean, I imagine it's still in pre-production, probably. Oh, no, it's in, like, pre-pre-production. Like, scripts aren't even written yet type of pre-production. Yeah, uh, you'd be... uh, You'd be disappointed to find out just how many films start shooting before there's a script these days. (laughs) Yeah. Well, they gotta get that B-roll. They gotta get the scenery shots. Um... Oh, but Kill Bill was so great. That's such a funny movie. Good old fashioned fun there. Yeah. Lots of colored water. I know, that's what was kind of funny about 
first time I saw Kill Bill, um, there was this there was this service that was kind of like Netflix. It was called Clean Films, and it was a Christian company, and they would edit movies, and you could have DVDs sent to your door, like old school Netflix. Oh my god! Yeah. I saw I saw an edited version of Waiting. It was 15 minutes long. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. You were just waiting for it to end, right? Uh, no, I'm exaggerating. It was 20 minutes long. But yeah, my mom got it from <laughs> Clean Films, and she was like, "Here's a comedy movie you can watch." From got it from Clean Films. Like a lot of people are liking it. It's like okay, put it in. 20 minutes later, like. I have no idea what happened, Bomb. <laughs> and then I saw the full version later, and it's like an hour 45. I was like, and there was a lot of shit in there. I'm like, okay, I understand why Clean Films cut it down that much. <laughs> Just like, you get, you're not giving me a lot of context, guys. Yeah. Yeah, but that's how I saw a lot of movies when I was younger, because thanks to clean films. You saw a um, lot of movies because of Shepherd Pies. Shepherd Pies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, clean films ended up getting sued by movie industries. Cause... Oh. Yeah. Anyway. No, I think it was kind of... There's a lot of movies out there that have, like, a lot of gratuitous shit. You know? It's just like, when you first brought up clean films, it made me immediately think of Pure Flicks, which is, like, some of the, like, most horrible fucking Christian, like, film shit. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I've seen some things on Pure Flicks, but it's it was similar. But it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that censored, I should say. Freaking Pure um, Flix put out God's Not Dead. And the sequels. Oh, wait. No, I'm thinking of a different thing. Oh, no. There's a... There's an add-on you can get on your browser, so when you're watching a streaming service, it automatically edits the movie. What the fuck? Yeah. It's called, like, uh, Angel something, I think. Uh, Man, I want to try that just to... I want to put that on some random computer and just... F That'd be pretty funny. Just use a public library computer and add that to it. Yeah. Um. What the fuck? Where are the titties? Yeah, let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Now we're in the investigative bit. I wonder if... Dina, are you still here? Because she would know the channel that I heard about it on. Wait, Jeff's covering MLML and shit now? I hate <laughs> that Jeff streams on Fridays now. No, I was... Thanks, Jeff. Was, uh... You couldn't have waited about a half hour? No, I, I, he posted a uh, link in general chat to a new video. Oh, okay. Lighthouse. Yeah, it's a cult, apparently. A yeah, multi probably. marketing cult, apparently. Episode yeah. one. Oh, for everybody that missed it, the reason why we uh, didn't have a show last week is because we all died and then we rose again on Sunday. So we're your Jesus now. We're now a cult. So I'm the captain now. Yeah. You don't have to do anything, you just have to show up every week. That'd be cool. <laughs> no titties, no peace. I only pretend that to right die so I could violate the corpses. Wait, what? Oh yeah. Cause <clears throat> Nope, not making that joke on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I am I'll going to keep my hand. mouth shut. I don't want to pull a Jables. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I'll, give everybody a, I'll give everybody a hint. High schoolers having sex with each other. Yeah. Yeah. Put the That's rest a mistake. Together yourselves. Man, I am subscribed to a lot of channels. Hmm. I know I'm humming if that's not exactly suspect. No titties, no peace. I agree. Uh. I, I wish I was all. still terminally online. I have a wife and kid, Larry. You insult yeah. me. I'm pretty terminally online. Yeah, trying. Hey, to I got my permission online. slip That's to be fast. on here right now, Larry. Yeah, do you do you have any idea how much it took me to talk his wife into letting him do this show still? Wild. I had to be like, hey, let him do it. And she was like, yo, okay. And then it was, man. Yeah, it was, it was the hardest that. thing ever. Yeah, I had to actually talk to a person. It fucking sucked. <laughs> Although yeah. your wife Imagine cool. Jables trying to communicate and not be awkward. Imagine Jables trying to communicate. I'm surprisingly charismatic. No comment. You just have to catch me in the right mood. I'm surprisingly charismatic. 10% of the time, every time. Yeah. I should see me at the bar. Everybody loves me there. Yes, I finally fucking found it. Huzzah! I think. Alright, so it's a filtering service called VidAngel. Mm. Hmm. Sounds like an anime title. Yeah. You know, it almost sounds like a fucking, not just anime, but fucking hentai title. Yeah. Sounds like a Christian internet blocker. Nah, I'm going for the hentai. Yeah, so they block out profanity and nudity. And, uh... I know what box you're Aww, talking about, Larry. Oh, those are my Larry. favorite parts. I know what box you're talking about, Larry. I can't remember what it's called. There you go, Larry. There's a link to it. You can, you can even like, uh, you can even censor out like specific swear words. Like if you're okay with damn, that can be fine. But if you're not okay with fuck, then you can have that edited out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have fun, Larry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if it costs any money or anything. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can censor out all the profanity, but have all the N-words. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I kind of want to watch American History X with that. I want to watch Django <laughs> Unchained with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, you bleep, and then immediately followed by, it's like, oh. Was that uh, supposed I to be bleep too? No, it's working as intended. <laughs> I love how one of the things they have is immodesty. 
That's broad. Yeah, I know. So boobage. Legs. Ankles. Oh my god, her ankles are showing. That woman is wearing pants. <laughs> It just auto-generates a filter that puts dresses on all the women. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't matter what time period it's supposed to be in. It's always the same, like, Puritan <coughs> dress. Yeah, it, it just changes colors every once in a while. <laughs> no, no, not even that. It doesn't even change direction. She'll spin around and it'll stay perfectly still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but they could change the color. No, no. They they well, I mean, of course they can, but they don't. Yeah. That's too spicy. Yeah. <laughs> that's too immodest. How dare you express yourself in any way? <laughs> Yeah, I think that um, I think that about does us. Yeah. Do we have a title right. for this mess? Yeah, it's a trad wife filter. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the title. It gives her <laughs> trad wife filter. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> It gives her big tits that are fully covered in a dress. <laughs> a sundress. <laughs> With a parasol. Nope, nope, that's too immodest. Can't be a sundress. What? It has to be that Puritan black dress. Sundresses are classy. Fuck off. Sundresses are, sundresses are sexy. Fucking Christians. Yeah. We could have right. just ended on that comment. But... <laughs> yeah, we could have. But uh, now we're going to end on this one. Fuck y'all! We'll be back next week. <laughs>